Hi, welcome to the Mule 4 tutorial. This is Akash. In this video, we will discuss about the M unit in Mule 4. So, in Mule 4, we have M unit 2.1, which is pretty advanced as compared to the previous V Mule 3 M unit 1. So, in this video, we will do one practical session and we will discuss the new features and how to implement M unit in Mule 4. So, as you know, M unit is used to basically test our flows. So this is the M unit details. This is Mule 3.0 connectors in for M unit, and this is uh, Mule 4 connectors for M unit. So as you know, we have asset equal asset false, asset not equal asset not null payload, null payload, asset payload, asset true, asset false. So these many things are accommodated inside only one connector which is assert that and then we have after suit after test before suit before test set event and test so uh, after suit i will explain you all these events and we'll create one m unit for our flow so i will show you quickly i will just open my Mule 4 Studio 7 and remember always use the latest studio so I am using currently 7.3 which is the latest one in market because uh, there were few issues in 7.1 studio in M unit so I downloaded a new one and I am using that so first of all I will create one new project project name is uh, let's say M unit proj 1 I will click on finish this will create my project in Mule 4. Once the project is created, I will create a simple flow and I will test that flow with the help of M unit. So we got this M unit proj. So I will quickly drag one HTTP connector listener. I will configure this. on plus okay yeah I will write HTTP and path for now test we'll save it now we'll drag one uh, set payload which will I'm gonna set some value over here I'm gonna set value first test and I will save it now I will drag one logger Here I am gonna uh, show my payload. As you know, in Studio Seven Dot Three, we got a new message. This is we can switch it with the function, or if you want to take as an, a graphical user, we can take it as a graphical user. So we can see how things are mapping over here. I will save it. Now we have two ways to create the M unit. One is just right click on your flow. M unit create M unit project one suit or else if you want to create M unit for different flows let's say I have one more, more one more flow over here this flow and I am dragging one HTTP listener test 2 save it and the second thing is go to file new M unit test here you can see this is my old project and this is my new project M unit project 1 so I will click over here if I will click over here like this I will get the M unit for this flow only if I select all I will get the M unit for all so for now I will cancel this and I will delete this flow this I will go to file new M unit test finish so this will create one uh, XML file inside SRC test M unit which is test new test suit dot xml so this is whole suit whatever xmls we have inside this we have that particular flow for that so here it automatically comes so this is divided into three part one is the execution second one is the validation and third one is the behavior so as you know in mule 3 we can mock the connectors we can find we can get the dummy values from the connector and here is the execution part and here we will give the assets and verify stuff 
so as you can see over here this is basically passing my flow over here and now i'm gonna use assert so here we have m unit and we have m unit tools so inside m unit you can find set event first set event is basically used to set some attribute values or properties we want to pass to that particular flow let's say i want to add one property property name is uh, id and value is uh, akash type is variable and coding is not required so in this way we can add the property and this property we can use inside that for now i will cancel this because we are not using this any of the properties and now I'm gonna drag one tags. I'm gonna drag one assert that inside validation. So here we need to validate this stuff. So first one is the expression. Expression for now I'm using payload. So my input is payload, and we need to check the condition over here. So I will show you all the condition which can use it over here. So in M unit four here. So this is the, these are the asset operations. So in mule three, as you know, we have asset equal, asset false, asset not equal, asset null. Here we have asset that, and we have different functions for that. For null value, we can use null values function, not null values function, equal to function, not of equal to function. So we can see like m unit tools equal to true, which is equal to, which is similar to the asset true. And we can edit false if which is equal to the which is similar to the asset false. So let's say I'm using this M unit. First, I will copy this M unit tools and paste it over here. I will save it. I will delete this event for now. I will save this. I will save this also. And uh, I will right click over here. Click on Run M unit test. So this will basically run my M unit particle this test. If we have more than one test inside the suit, we can run the whole suit. We can ignore the test cases also. Just right click on the test cases. You can click on ignore test case. So this will not run while you are running a suit. We got some error. We'll check quickly what's the error. Is saying is is not supported. So over here is M unit tools. Okay, we need to select the function because we need to give the hash before and after, which is already included by this. I'll save this quickly and we'll run this test case. So as you know that M unit divided into two parts, one is the M unit and one is the M unit tools. M unit basically to set the event, set the payload as null, after suit, after test, before suit, before test and test. And M unit contains the assert that fail mock, this is similar to the mock in mule 3. And run custom assertion, if you want to run any custom assertion like uh, we, are, if we don't want to use this one and we want to use the custom assertion and write a Java code, we can do it. So here you can see it successfully run properly and we can go over here we can see tick marks over there so these flows these connectors are perfectly work fine and uh, here we can see the run test case which is one run passed and over here we'll just move this little bit here this test case run we can generate the report also like this so these these are basically important when we want to send these reports to our uh, high authority like these main test cases we have run and these are when we have passed it and you can see the coverage is 100% because we are running that particular xml file it's 100% so in this way you can create your test suit and uh, you can create your test cases so I, in, in this now i will show you what is after suit what is after test, what is before suit and what is before test.
fast. Okay. So as you know, we had three these four things over here. So whatever I'm gonna add inside this, let's say I will add one logger after suit. I will add after shoot. I will drag one logger here. I'll click over here and say after test. We'll drag one more logger here. Oops, yeah. So we have before test. I will just add this in double quote, which is important because this is a string, literal string. I'll drag one before. I'll add uh, before shoot. We'll save it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the same test case and we'll see what we'll get in loggers. So first we'll get after suit, sorry before suit we should get, which is this, I should get this logger and then uh, before test, then after test and after suit, we should, I should get. So now it's running that particular suit. Okay, it's successfully done. Here we can check uh, this stuff. Okay. So here we can see first we got the before suit, then we got the before test, and then we got the after test, and then it runs the after suit. So this is uh, this is how we can configure our stuff. This was not present. Purely not present in Mule 3, we have we can use those functionalities in Mule 4 properly. So in this way, basically, you can create your uh, M unit, basic M unit. We'll go through the mocks in next uh, lecture. To I'm gonna upload this uh, PPT file so you you can have reference like how to use uh, M unit tools and how to use asset operations. So that's it for this video, see you next video, thank you.